That's what I like to hear, nice and quiet. You've got 10 seconds left, so start to finish up your paper, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, put you down, put your papers down, everybody. Oi, Smith, you put your papers down. Louise George, put your papers down and stop talking to Sharon Reddy. And stop laughing, everybody, at her name, will you? Gordon Bennett. Oi, Sykes. Sykes. Turn your hearing aid off. Stop writing. Sykes, turn it. Oh, dear. I'll carry on with it. Oh, dear. He got... Miss Jones. Miss Jones, can you go and tell him to turn his hearing aid up to stop writing? That's right. Right. <coughs> Agent, I'm Mr. Calfrop. And I'm running this exam today. There's only a few questions. You've got most of them. These are the last three which you found hard. I'm going to read out the questions and then we'll give you the answers and see if you've got the answer correct or not. Here we go. Question one. Why did the child, why did the child bring a ladder to class? Why did the child bring a ladder to class? Because she wanted to go to high school, of course. Oh. Question two. What three candies do you find in school? What three candies do you find in school? Of course, the answer is nerds, dum-dums and smarties. So if you got that right, well done. And your last one for today was... What do you call a friendly school? What do you call a friendly school? High school, of course. High school, of course, if you want to do that. Right, this would be Mr. Calfrop. And now it's off to your lunchtime. You've earned it. Well done, class. And I'll see you again. And quietly, please, quietly. Quietly, Smith, quietly. Do you know quietly? Quietly. No, not quietly. You jump quietly. You go quietly. No, I said quietly, meaning slow. Oh, dear. Just get on with it. Oh, dear. I'm going for a cup of coffee. This will be Mr. Calfrop, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, what a load of tw twaddle. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing very nicely wherever you are. I hope the sun's shining. It's been a lovely day here. I've been working half the day, so I've just come back and I'm just starting on the show now. Um, this is show 135. 135 shows in them, 135 days. Um, I miss not having a bath. I used to have a bath. Not that I don't. I do shower, honestly. I'm not dirty. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> But um, I miss not having a, sh a bath. I miss laying, not laying there, and you can s all the soap and everything. It's lovely sometimes just laying, listen to a bit of music, candles and stuff like that. And I've not had that for uh, a long, long time. I do miss that, and uh, eventually, hopefully, I'll put a bath in where I in my new place when I go and live there eventually. So all this hardship is worth it. Um, so today's poem, of course, is called "The Bath," and I hope you're going to enjoy it. And um, you know, it brings back memory. It's nice land there. You've got the scent of candles, nice warm water, and it's lovely, especially if you can share it with somebody um, loving as well. It's great, or even on your own, it's nice. Here we go, then. This is called The Bath. Laying in my bath at the end of the day, my cares and worries, they just fade away. You can switch your mind off. And the stress will go out of your body. Just let it flow. You start to feel the peace of the world. The stress of the day seems a million miles away. With the scent from the candles and the flickering lights, the memory will stay with you for most of the night. And when you go to bed and the sad man arrives, then you know it's time to drift off into the night. There you go, folks. Do hope you enjoyed it. And um, 
I'll see you again another time and it's over to Justin for a poem or a song or whatever he wants to do. I'm sure it'll be great. Over to you. <laughs>